up guys your boy gamer Benny here with another LSPD FR tutorial today guys I'm gonna be showing you how to install callout manager version 0.2.0.0 this mod right here is created by Pi R God big shout outs to you thank you for your creativity and being part of the LSPDFR community guys this mod right here all it does is um all the callouts that you have installed in your game this is like a manager so like you could use it so you could pick out a callout whenever you know whenever you want to set up a callout you can go ahead and control every callout that you have in your LSPDFR so I'm gonna be showing you how to install and I will be showing you an in-game of how it looks how you use it so guys here is some information of the mod and stuff and very very simple install guys so if you follow step by step here are some pictures of it guys so these are like mostly some call outs that they have in game that you install by other creators and I'm gonna be showing you how we install so you're gonna go ahead and hit this blue download this file button right here guys so go ahead and fire that up and I'm gonna go ahead and hit agree and download let that download right there guys and we're gonna be using the GTA 5 main directory so I will be showing you how to use that and guys I always say it in every tutorial WinRAR to open up all your files guys so right here I'm gonna go ahead and open up mines and it's completely free link will be down in the description down below so here's our callout manager so what you're gonna want to do next is pull up your GTA 5 main directory I have mines right here so I have mines in quick access so it's right here I get to it way faster but if you don't know how to get there I will show you the pathway so mines is saved in Windows C so Windows C program files time 86 I'm gonna go to Steam Steam apps and right here guys common and right here guys this is where I have mines Grand Theft Auto 5 and this is my GTA 5 main directory so what you're gonna do right here guys to get the callout manager there's a readme here so if you want to read it it tells you exactly where it goes right here guys you're gonna go ahead and open up your plugins folder in your GTA 5 main directory and then your LSPDFR folder and right there guys all you're gonna do is gonna go ahead and open up right here in our WinRAR plugins double click that double click LSPDFR and guys these two files that you see right here those are the two files that we're gonna be using so now you're gonna go ahead here to your GTA 5 main directory go ahead and hit plugins LSPDFR and right here guys right here we are in the right place if you see this pathway right here Grand Theft Auto 5 plugins and LSPDFR you're in the right place so all you're gonna do guys is drag and drop drag and drop very simple so go ahead and highlight these two that you see right here one is the I and I one is the regular so you're gonna go ahead and just drag and drop in three two one and drop you drop it right there I'm not gonna drop it because I already have both of them right here as you can see call out manager and call out manager DLL so one last thing guys you're gonna go ahead next and right here the one that says configuration settings this one go ahead and double click that that is the INI file so the way that you pull this up the default key I believe it's set to F12 I changed mines I'm not sure what you will have yours on but right here where it says menu toggle key go ahead and I mean if you don't have nothing for that key I put mines for F10 because F12 I believe I have um my EUP menu was it or F11 one of the two but go ahead and put F12 so you can pull this up. So I will be showing you in game how you do that, guys. So F10 right here. Go ahead. If you made a change, go ahead and file and hit save. And that is it, guys. You go ahead and hit close that out. Go ahead and refresh your main directory. Close out of your main directory. And you could delete the callout manager right there on WinRAR. So, guys, that is how you install callout manager. Simple as that. If you have any questions drop down below i will be showing you in game of how to pull it up and how to use it and operate it so see you in the game guys all right guys so we are now in game and gonna be showing you how to you know basically how to turn on the call out manager 
and how you'll be operating it also so it's gonna be a very quick short one here and I hope the tutorial did help you guys and if you have any questions drop down below the comment section so we're gonna go ahead and hit where I had set mines mines is set to F10 so I'm gonna go ahead and hit to F10 and right there guys that is callout manager so right here we have all of the callouts basically all the callouts I have in my game for right now so like for example I have attempted crime callouts county callouts red callouts and so on so let's say I want to start a call out in red callouts and let's say you see there's the list of all the callouts that are in the mod and let's say I want to do active shooter go ahead and hit active shooter dispatch will let you know that there's an active shooter right you know nearby of your area so you would go ahead and let dispatch know dispatch show me on route and you would take it you would take the call just like you regularly take a call guys so simple as that guys so if you want to do a different one you go ahead and hit a call in another one let's say you want to do a see traffic stop back up and you just you're, you're in control of the call outs guys that is what this mod is all about call out manager i recommend it guys it's a very good one and if just to take it down just press b and get it off the screen so thank you for watching guys make sure you go check out all my other tutorials and smash that like button guys and subscribe share with your friends and family this is all i got for you guys and this is how you install call out manager for your lspdfr guys Thank you for watching. Your boy Gamer Benny. Out. Peace, guys.